<laughs> a free operant. Uh, the free operant was a procedure that was originally yeah. developed by Skinner. Actually, it was just more like discovered, not really developed. Um, before free operants, we were using like discrete trials. All right. Um, so Thorndike would use discrete trials with his kitty cats. He'd put them in the puzzle box. They'd figure out a way to get out. Right. Um, they had to restart the whole thing. It was really weird. It was just, you had to reset everything. You took you recorded the time it took them to get out. Um, Skinner went, no, 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 no. We needed to be more like the real world, and let's use a free operant procedure. Allow the organism to respond as as they would in the real world, right? So with very little constraint or with very little restriction on how they respond. Um, so you know, the free operant can be emitted at any time. So think of the rat in the operant chamber, right? So the rat's in this thing and they go up and they press the lever. They don't have to press the lever right now. They can wait a minute or two or three or four or 20. They can press it whenever the hell they want. They can press it a whole bunch of times, all sorts of stuff like that, right? So that's a free operant procedure. There's no clear beginning in the end. Um, with regard to when the organism is allowed to provide the response, as long as the context is set up to allow that to happen. But the behavior should probably be discrete to make it countable. So free operant, free to perform the response as needed. You do frolicking. All the stuff that you may do in the park is a free operant, I guess. Or whatever. You get it. So just stuff.